500 Magnum versus Toaster. You know, Ghostbusters 2, there was a part when they're pouring the goo inside of a toaster. It's on like a pool table and they hit it and the goo reacts to the music and starts dancing around. Well, we don't have any goo. I'm not a ghost and he's not a buster. 500 Magnum, 500 grain might make the toaster dance. What do you say, Biggin? I say rock and roll, Buttercup. Let's see what happens. Make sure you hit it. I'm good. You good, little buddy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dang. It made a hole, but it, it right. made a little bust move. Uno Moss. Uno Moss. 500 grain again. Hit it a little bit lower. Okay. You good, little buddy? Yeah. But it did go straight. Yeah, both of them. Through. What's it look like back here? Oh, no one went to the bottom. No, it broke apart. Didn't quite dance, folks, but if the goo was in there, we'd have stopped it, though. Oh, oh, you want me to talk? Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, got the Marlin. For Marlin 1895 guy gun. I can't never remember the number. Chambered in 4570. These are Hornaday. What size are those? 325 grain, I believe. Hey, we're gonna hit the cylinder first. Oh, it lined up perfectly. And then we're gonna hit the toaster in the cylinder. That's, my, that's what my plan was, people. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Let me get right here. Clear? holes it put in well i think when i shot it the second time the first time went in right here it went out right here but the second time i think it went in right here and it must have split it went out two different times that's a magic Cause also, bullet because it also went to the toaster and uh <laughs> turn it around this side look at that you can see right through it hold like at an angle you can see right through that sucker Cleared the way. 